This is a demonstration of Preact being used for the scheduling of a brewery. This involves many complex modelling requirements including the filling and emptying of tanks with finite capacity, adding clean in place CIP when the business rules require it, automatically adding process steps as required for scheduling and synchronising the optimal sequence of the packing lines with the movement of fermented beer through the filtering and settling processes. The example is running on Preat 400 APS version 11. The diagram shows the plant that is the subject of this demo. We have four 100,000 litre fermented beer storage tanks which are connected to two filters that move the beer to one or more of nine bright beer tanks with different capacities as shown. After settling for a minimum amount of time in these tanks, the beer is ready for packing into bottles, cans or kegs. This is the Preactor workspace. It is an easy to use interface from where you can access and edit data, data maintenance, access help, import and export data to and from other systems and access the Preactor sequencer where you generate and interact with the production schedule. First we will import the brew orders. This creates the demand for fermented beer and packing orders. Before we carry out the scheduling of the plant, let's take a look at the data in the model. These are the resources that will form the heart of our model. It includes the tanks, filters, packing lines and warehouse storage. Each tank has a finite capacity and filling rate from the filter. Its empty rate will depend on the packing lines it services. Now we will access the Preactor Sequencer by clicking on the Generate Schedule icon. This is the Preactor Sequencer screen. The Gantt chart shows the resources to be scheduled in the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. The icons at the bottom in the Unscheduled Operations window represent the tasks or process steps to be scheduled. One icon for each operation step in each of the orders. In this example we are showing a single filter. The shaded area for filter 2 shows it is under maintenance and not available. The other resources are the bright beer tanks and packing lines. The first stage of the scheduling process is to optimise the sequence onto the packing lines. The sequence of loading each packing order onto each packing line has been generated that minimises change over time. The second part of the scheduling process is to create the process steps to move the fermented beer through the filter to match the packing line sequence. To do this we must remove the packing orders. We are now ready to schedule the plant. In order to explain how the schedule was created we will deal with one packing order at a time initially. The first batch of filtered beer has been processed. It can be seen here that it has been placed in bright beer tank 1. The batch has then been split across two packing orders, one for kegs and the other for bottles on bottling line 3. The dark green bar represents a clean in place operation after the tank has been emptied. The next filter batch has been added. Here it is emptied into bright beer tank 2 and then is used to fill cans. Notice too that a dark green clean in place bar has been added to the filter. The next batch is emptied into bright beer tank 3 and then to the bottling line 2 for the filling process. The schedule is now complete.
You can see the empty and filling of each tank in the plot window. The rectangle sections are clean in place operations. Textual reports are also available. This report shows the filling and emptying events for each bright beer tank. The time elapsed from fill is an important figure as the filtered beer has a minimum and maximum time allowed in the bright beer tanks before it is used on the packing lines. You can also see using the highlighting options in Preacto which packing orders are made from which batch of fermented beer. Here for example three batches of filtered beer are made from the same source of fermented beer. The first is settled in bright beer tank 1 then emptied onto the kegging line. Later two batches are emptied into bright beer tank 5 then used for packing orders on bottle line 2. This example shows the capabilities of Preactor used in the process sector and how it can accurately model the filling and emptying of tanks, dealing with clean-in-place and the sequencing of packing lines.